what's going on guys welcome back to Ark survival evolved today we're going to be building pretty much a pirate ship i i guess it's not really going to be a pirate ship but it's going to have two cannons on it i've been working a little bit this is pretty much just going to be my metal metal gathering base from now on this is pretty much where i'm going to do all my metal i need a little bit of water wee bit of water so i'm going to go grab the cannons out of my smithy real quick and also repair my chest piece which broke uh that i forgot to put back on and repair and then we're going to grab the cannons, bring them down to that little chest on the shore where the raft is. And then we're going to build a raft that has two cannons on it. Uh, here's the two cannons. Where is my chest piece? Here it is. So this is pretty much like my metal base now. I'm just going to be gathering metal in and out of here. Um, I need to get an Argentavis. <clears throat> what I was doing originally was using my bear. Uh, the bear is fast enough and had plenty of weight on it for me leveling it up. So I was using the bear to go up just... Pretty much a little mountain off to the side of my base. Gather a good amount of metal. It wasn't like the best rocks to gather metal from, but it worked. Um, but my bear got killed during purge, so that being said, I don't have a bear anymore. Um, my Pteranodon's a low level. I lost my Pteranodon. I guess I left him out when I recorded that Manta video at 5 a.m. And again, I tweeted out that I did force tame that Manta. Um, and I thought I mentioned it in the video saying that I force tamed it and I was going to kill it. It got killed during purge anyway. But that was my bad. It was probably 6 a.m. at the time, and I had made 15 videos on the day. I just couldn't figure out the Manta. Uh, biggest problem of me, I probably should have put out the Manta video before I put out the Dire Bear video. Because mainly what people saw was five days after an update, this idiot didn't know how to tame a Manta. But at the time that I actually recorded it, it was day one, and there was like everybody on the server couldn't figure out how to tame the Manta. And then somebody told me bug repellent. But I guess it wasn't bug... I don't even know. I still don't know. I read the comments and everybody was giving me, like, these different, like, ideas on how to tame it. So if you can give me a full explanation on how to tame the Manta, I'm pretty sure I will do one this week. The Manta's dead. I wouldn't... I wasn't going to use it for PvP anyway. I kind of wanted to do what they showed in the update video with, like, a Manta racetrack. I feel like that'd be really cool. Uh, mainly with these small rivers, you could really fuck up and, like, kill your Manta. So that'd be really awesome. Um... With these smaller rivers, you can actually circle this whole little area and come back to here. Um, I even started building um, this, which was going to be like a base on stilts slash, uh, slash bridge. But I didn't do that, and instead I was like, okay, maybe we can make this the finish line. So maybe we'll make this into the finish line of the Manta races. I definitely want to do that um, in the future, but that would also, I don't know, take a lot of time and... Being on, again, being on a PvP server, it's kind of like you're on a PvP server. You don't really want to do stuff that benefits other people. You generally want to just do stuff that benefits yourself. Because you don't want the other tribes to get ahead and you want to stay ahead. So it's like if I do stuff around the server that isn't for my base, then I'm going to fall behind and people are going to wreck me. But yeah, we got a little bit of materials here. We're going to go ahead and uh, just snag these down. I want to place them pretty much perfectly. Um, this should be good right there, and then this should be pretty centered. That's as centered as it's going to get. So the idea is to have the, I don't think I'm going to be able to put foundations here. That's fine. Uh, the idea is to have the things, the cannons on the second floor. That way they're a little bit raised. I kind of want to do it on a higher floor, but they don't really, they don't look down as high as they look up. Just kind of like how the catapults work. So we're going to probably put them on the second floor. Um, trying to think. We need like full range of motion for them. So what we should do is put some ceilings down. Um, I don't think we need it any bigger than a 2x2. Two two. I think we can build it up instead of out. I also don't have any wooden ramps. We'll figure that out later. We'll just jump in and out for now. Um, let's go ahead and grab the doorways. I think I'm just going to do one doorway. It's not going to be, uh, set up for dinosaurs to get in, because there's really no point in dinosaurs to get into, like, a, a shooter raft, which is pretty much what this is going to be. i throw that bad boy on. And we're going to do the first floor. Very simple, just literally a first floor. Basic ceilings, everything like that. And then I'm trying to think of how we're going to do the second floor. 
Obviously, we're going to have to have a wooden hatch to get up there with ladders, but I don't have those right now. It'll all be stuff to do later. Whenever I craft for these episodes, I always just forget certain things, and of course, I forgot like a bunch of things. So, But that's fine. We have a Tronodon to be able to get to the second floor right now. Maybe I want to go up like one more level. I don't know if the cannons being right here is going to be like the best idea. It seems a little too low, if you ask me. It's almost like I should just put the cannons on the roof. But I want them covered from, I don't know, maybe I should just build like... Hmm. Let's think, let's think. I should go up one more floor for sure. There's no way I want the cannons that low to the ground. That's not really going to do much for us. So let's go ahead and just do one more floor. This is going to be a lot of trial and error today to figure out kind of how to build the cannon ship. Uh, I wanted to up the amount of uh, entities that could be built on a boat, but I would like to let the server know like in advance that I'm doing that. I didn't want to do it like for this episode and then just be like, fuck it, I'm building a mansion on a boat. But then like everybody else doesn't have time to do it themselves. So I probably will like figure it out after purge day. Also, if you guys didn't watch my Game of Thrones and Ark video, uh, the Game of Thrones mod in Ark. I'm not going to be adding the Game of Thrones mod to this server, but then the uh, Baby Dinos one was pretty cool. Um, it didn't really change anything with the, with the game, and it wasn't laggy, and it really didn't do anything. So I kind of want to add that to the server. We're going to start adding more mods to the server just to make it a little bit more fun, a little bit different. Um, I know there, I believe there was a cannon mod before they actually added cannons to the game. Um, obviously, we're not going to do something like that because now that there's cannons in the game. And I have the ceilings on me. What we do is we just hop to on, And we build like this. Also, if you saw my video about making my episodes 5 to 10 minutes long, it's not going to be happening for a while, and we're going to work it out. Um, come June, this game has been out for an entire year. And it's getting to the point where, like I said, everybody's seen everything, and the only way to have fun in this game now is to PvP. Well, for me at least, is to PvP and, like... Pretty much just to PvP, and then the new updates, taming the new dinosaurs and stuff. Um, obviously, you guys like to see everything, but it's more or less just like what I have fun doing is PvP and others. I wish these would stick out like and wouldn't attach like this. I wish I could stick the flat ends on here like that. That would make it so much better. And then these ceilings, I believe you can rotate, right? Should be able to rotate them. How do you rotate normal walls? You press E, right? Yeah, but this won't let me rotate them. I'm trying to get these to be like normal. Like, why do you want to always do that, game? I don't want to do that. I want to have it so it slopes down, kind of like a. Uh, yeah, E isn't flipping them around. Let's see if we can get a weird angle on the Tyranodon to make it work. Maybe if we did a... Because I just got it to work from the inside, but I don't want it from the inside. See, like this? I want that, but elsewhere. So maybe if we do a wall here... Yeah, that didn't change anything at all. Oh, the sloped roofs just make me just make me rage a little bit. I want full freedom to do whatever I want. I don't want the stupid thing to just not do what I want it to do. So the idea was to have these slope down and then just kind of like have ceilings off of them. I guess I could put a ceiling down and see if that works. Again, all trial and error. Especially with boat snap points are a little bit uh a little bit more wonky. Just a little bit. So let's put the ceiling down first and then see if we can get the sloped roof off of the ceiling. We'll delete this wall. I'm going to be taming a lot more this week, by the way, as well. Um, I feel as if I need to get my dinosaur game up a bit. Maybe get some flufflies and some spinos going. So this is not the idea. The idea is to have it come off from this edge and go back towards the building. But clearly, it wants to do the complete opposite for me. 
This is not what I wanted, game. Let's get back up on top and do another ceiling. I guess we just won't place these. It's not really a huge issue to place these. It would just be more aesthetically pleasing. We'll figure it out later if there is a way to do it. All right. And then we just put these down. Put this down. And then we just need one more ceiling. That's how high the cannons are going to be. Uh... If I do get more metal and enough materials to build more cannons, I guess we could do four cannons on the boat and then just have the other two cannons be a bit higher up in the air. Um, I think I feel like I, I should do another cannon and have a front-mounted cannon. I don't currently have enough metal for that. I also don't have any shots for these cannons because I thought I would craft the cannons and do the shots later. So as of right now, I feel like... That's a good idea. So we can aim down. How far down can we aim? Honestly, that's perfect. Aim up. Now we just got to do it perfectly the same on the other side. So we're going to aim pretty high up and aim pretty hard down. What I was thinking is you narwhal one right here. So that way when you're driving your ship, you can just shoot it and you don't have to turn to aim. Front mounted cannon. That's pretty much perfect compared to the other one. So this is pretty much it. I wanted to do, like, walls on either side, but now that, obviously... Oh, wait, we can do right... How far aim right can I do it? Oh, that's not... I thought I'd be able to full 45 degree it. And then just aim both of these forward when I want to. I wish there was a quicker way to do this as well. There probably is. There's probably a bind or something. There we go. So we got two cannons. And let's see. Let's see if we can sneak one of these in now. No, you know. Oh, wait. That could. I can. Hmm. I can fucks with that. And then if we can get these in there, but they never work like that. You can't even flip them upside down. They just kind of do what they want. It's just for extra added defense to, like, the bottom portion. I mean... I'll do it on the other side as well. See if I like the way it looks. It works. Again, it's just, like, added defense. It's a little bit harder to shoot the ceilings underneath the cannons now with those in the way. And since these cannons really can't turn, like, a substantial amount... <clears throat> my voice. Since these cannons can't really turn a substantial amount... We could go up there and box in the shooter. That way they don't get shot. Which is a great idea. And we'll break a space open later if we do decide to do the front mounted cannon. It does take a lot to build these cannons. It's like 750 metal and like 300 cementing paste. The cementing paste really isn't an issue. It's it's mostly the metal, just the time consuming. Uh, cementing paste is so crazy easy to get now with the uh, with the beaver dams. So I'm not really worried about that portion. So these are going to be walled in, so the shooters are going to be safe. I don't want, like, a Pteranodon just being able to land up there and be whatever. And we'll do the hatch later. Not completely necessary right now. There we go. Walls. And then I think we should do something like that to give it the full range of motion and then do the ceiling on top. And then, of course, we'll just do walls down from the ceiling. And we could just make this floor nice and open, but I think we're going to run out of Entity. Room. Room for entities. And I'm also going to run out of freaking walls. Throw these back in. I'm going to run out of everything. And there we go. Eight. Eight. Uh, let's get the Pteranodon into the bigger portion before we place these things down and get them all buggy. Let's fly them in from the side. You guys will see what I'm doing in just a second. Just making sure I can... Why am I, like, on top of the Tronodon like that? That's weird. 
There we go. And then we place down the ceilings that we have. We don't have quite enough of, but it is what it is. Tronodons in the way. That's what I was trying to avoid. Here we go. And then whoever is here pretty much has full view of what's going on. Uh, we could put, like, I want to I wanna make it so you can't get in here without, like, having to go through a door. But that would eliminate the whole range of, like, kind of knowing what's happening. But it's good to have this roof here. Pteranodons really can't land in here. They can land on the edges, but they can't, like, hit you in here. Of course, they can see spin They can also aim their head down and get through, but that really doesn't change too much. Go ahead and place down a few more ceilings. And I don't think I have the walls for this. But this is pretty much the idea. Uh, we'll do the front-mounted cannon. We just have to delete two walls. And then we have a front-mounted cannon area. Uh, for right now. I wonder how... Actually, let me check. How much health do the cannons have? 5,000. Okay, so if a wall... If you hit a cannon with a cannon, the cannon's going to break. That's That's how I'm seeing it. But I'm also seeing that I'm pretty sure they nerfed the cannons 15%, if I'm not mistaken, in one of the uh, hot fixes because it was doing like 7k damage and they kind of wanted it to do 5k. Um, that way it would do two cannon shots instead of doing like two in the general direction. So, I mean, this is pretty good. It's a pretty decent build. If you guys have any tips on how I can improve this, please let me know. I'll be sure to uh, come back in a later episode and figure it out. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um... It's not the worst thing ever. Cannon on each side. Pretty well protected. The inside will definitely have some storage bins. Mainly because we this is like a raid ship. Uh, my other ship is still alive, by the way. I didn't bring that up. It's still alive. It's out in the ocean. Out there. Uh, I just needed something more for like the actual raiding portion. That ship out there is mainly what I gather with right now. I, I take that around... And I gather most materials, and I kill most dinosaurs, and all that kind of stuff, and I tame off of it. But with this, I want something that's, like, raid-ready, cannons ahoy. What we could do is what I'm thinking. We could put a ballista or a catapult up there for just, like, an additional, like, if we run out of cannon shells, at least we have something else. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have a Quetzal by Purge Day, and that's why I'm building something like this. I'm just clearly not a high enough level for a Quetzal. I'm at 67. Did I never grab my torso? I didn't. Um, yeah, but I'm at 67. I need to be at, like, 85 or 80 just to get the Quetzal saddle, like the platform saddle. So um, I'm trying my best. I'm taking the boat over often to the... Uh, there's a rock just that way where an alpha spawns. I don't know if somebody broke it while I was gone, but I hope they didn't. And by break it, I mean built around it. Otherwise, I fly around and I look for alphas and I kill shit like that. But I haven't done that since before Purge because I was away. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.